Hello, Shreveport Bossier. Let's make a difference today. Are you thinking of moving to Benton? In today's video, we're going to look at the pros and cons of Sweetwater Oaks in Benton. So, let's go! All right, let's get in this map and see uh, where we're located at in at Sweetwater Oaks um, subdivision. And so off of Linton Road, you'll come in and Sweetwater Drive is right here. So this neighborhood is all of this right around in here, kind of by the lake. And I'm sorry, we come back in here and loop here. There we go. So, you know, a decent size uh, neighborhood, and it's right before you get to Parks Road uh, at this point, uh, uh, where you can go to the, the other side of the lake and, and a lot of homes over in that area. But also you have Wood Lake uh, Drive right here, which takes you to the Wood Lake Ridge section that we had looked at recently. And also um, a great like a great location, and uh, let's be reminded that within this neighborhood you had uh, houses that were twenty five hundred square feet upwards to thirty five hundred or more, so uh, uh, some large homes and th three hundred sixty thousand all upwards to five hundred seventy thousand. So uh, some nice price ranges uh, within this subdivision. I think. Uh, for those who are looking for that size house, there would be uh, a number of choices for you available to you. Let's take a moment and look at our school situation and see what schools uh, we would be going to. So uh, the elementary school is going to be Benton uh, Elementary, and it's an eight minute drive, five minutes, five miles, I should say. So you're going to be here and, and you'll continue on Linton and then Linton will take you up to 162 and you come back to the uh, interstate right there. Uh, you could come down and back around and hit Palmetto Road, but I think that would be the long, for sure, a longer drive. And so even though this seems like I'm going to the end of the world, you know, it, it is just five miles uh, from Sweetwater Oaks uh, subdivision. So not not far at all. Now, uh, in Bossier, the uh, elementary schools go to fourth grade. And then uh, the uh, intermediate school, Benton Intermediate School is uh fifth and sixth and the middle school is seven and eight and they're really the middle school and the intermediate school are uh side by side uh, so you've got a 11 minute drive uh there to go to intermediate school then this would be what we were talking about coming back to palmetto road cut across and then get on highway 80 um, i'm sorry highway 80 highway uh benton road highway three uh, to the intermediate school, and then the middle school is right next to it. Uh, so, you know, for their intermediate and middle school purposes, you know, you're looking at a basically 11-minute drive, which is not bad at all. All right, so let's look at what the high school, Benton High School, and I was thinking it's going to be longer, but it's not. It's seven minutes, three and a half miles, uh, and it's uh, you're going to be coming down Linton Road, and then you're going to cut across on West Linton Road. That's a cut, a uh, short path that they put in there to help alleviate the the traffic coming out of both the high school and and an elementary school that's there. So, um, yeah, so Benton High School is not far at all. Seven minutes, about three and a half miles. Uh, and Benton High is a, a well-known a uh, high school, and it's doing quite well. And it's a fairly new building, so uh, a nice uh, facility for your, your uh, child to be able to go to in their high school years. Now, if you are here because of Barksdale, 
then uh, the distance to the main gate off of Bar- or, uh, Barksdale Boulevard would be uh, 12 and a half miles, which would be about a 27 minute drive because of the, the lights stopping uh, here and there and all. Now, uh, and the thing about it is you could go Benton Road here, this Highway 3, and it's the same 27 miles, but it's uh, 14 and a half miles, a couple of miles more than just going straight. So it just would depend on what time of the day. If, you, if you're an early riser and need to be there a little really early, then, you know, bef- you know around 6, 630 then you know you could you could take airline drive and you wouldn't uh be stopped too much but if you're leaving more closer to 738 i would i think i would take the highway 3 route uh, even though it's a little bit longer uh it's, it's the same distance but you don't have as many lights and and uh traffic uh per se uh than airline airline seems to be the easier uh, access to get to. Uh, and and let me say that we are forever grateful for our airmen and, and families who are here uh, because of Barksdale. Uh, because of you, we feel safe and uh, we are uh, very sensitive to the fact that and appreciative of the fact that you and your family are uh, sacrificing for our country and for our safety. And uh the the community's uh, approach to you is is one of of gratitude, and we welcome you to our commit community, and uh, I, and and it's our hope and prayer that you would be feel you that you would feel welcomed and appreciated uh, while you're here with us, and so many uh, of of the Air Force people uh, either come back to us or stay with us after they retire, so that lets you know how much. Uh, they fall in love with our area. A lot of times people don't know everything about our area, but they fall in love with it once they get here. So, and we know that and and hope that it will be the same for you. Uh, So, you know, we have many different neighborhoods that you can uh, uh, scout out to see which one would best serve your purposes and all. All right, now let's. Uh, if you're needing to go to the airport, Shreveport Regional Airport, uh, for travel, you're going to be 28 minutes away, 21 and a half miles, and you just you come out and and Palmetto Road, and then you hit Airline, cut across on 220, and then you hit 20, and you're there at the airport. Uh, really, really short. Uh, time on 20 you can come on down 20 this way but this is going to you're going to be able just to keep flowing and going and there's no lights to to slow you down on 220 so you can make that loop around uh, pretty quick uh, and get to where you need to go there if you're needing to go to the airport now if you're working downtown then uh, the distance is going to be 23 minutes, 12, almost 13 miles uh, from Sweetwater Oaks subdivision. And so you're going to come down and and hit Benton Road and then go straight on into uh, downtown Shreveport. So, uh, of course, you have several different other ways. You can go down Airline Drive, too. But as you can tell, it kind of makes the same type of shape going into downtown and all now but this part you know you're not so far into benton that you're you know far away from the north bossier uh that uh uh subdivisions that we showed you er earlier uh but uh you know to where you know it it doesn't seem quite so far but you start getting way too on up into benton on the other side then you got to just you know decide is that something i want to do every day or you know make sure i get everything done before i get home because because i'm too far to get back in the car and come back so uh you know get things to think about and for some people that doesn't that doesn't mean anything to them doesn't bother them one bit so uh you know to each his own as they say huh so uh but anyway all joking aside uh, it, it, Benton has uh, some very nice neighborhoods and nice homes 
uh, for you. And it, and, and it just makes it hard because, you know, hard to choose one because the fact that, you know, you have so many good houses to choose from. So a lot of times it is your location that really, you know, makes the, the choice what it is for you and all. And uh, so it, here at uh, living in Shreveport Bossier, we want you to we want you to just know which when you walk in that to the houses that we show you that you'll know you'll just know you'll know this is home and this is where we need to be so uh we we just keep moving until we get to that place and get you there and uh, get you in your home all right then so that's uh all those things. So let's just kind of look at the pros and cons of of what else may be as far as, uh, you know, I think the the con we just kind of talked about was the fact that it, it's a far, a far piece up the way. Uh, but there's a lot of pros to that also, though, uh, in that, you know, you're able to to. Uh, relax when you get home you know you're you're in a peaceful quiet country type setting but not just out 14 acres to yourself but you've got people around you but you know the lots were pretty good size there in Sweetwater Oaks uh and uh pleasantly surprised by that and uh so it it you know, you, you, you're surrounded, but then, you know, you still, it's just that, uh, a slower pace, uh, and, and all than even with Bozier city and, and then for sure with Shreveport. So, um, you know, if that's what you're looking for, you know, then, you know, Sweetwater Oaks might be a, a pro for you, but there's several churches around in the areas that's, not far away from there. And, and then, um, like I say, you're about, I don't know, maybe five to 10 minutes away from the outskirts of Bossier City. And so, you know, once you get in there, then you're going to find all your, uh, there's Risen Rock and there's, uh, uh, the park, the Brownlee Park, uh, road area there is, is a great place. Uh, then you've got the, uh, uh, Put Put Golf that's going to be over Party Central. Uh, I knew it would come to me sooner or later. And you know, so you got so many. And we, of course, we have Walmart and Sam's Club and Chick Fil A, and we've got the Home Depot and Walmart, and that we have Altitude uh, Trampoline Park here and the Tinsley Athletic thing uh, complex for the uh, Bozier Parks uh, area to use. Uh, for their games and all. We've got bowling, roller skating, you know, Texas Roadhouse, Outback Steakhouse. We've got a, the mall. We've got Ralph and Cancun, which is an excellent place to eat. Uh, Shane's Barbecue. We've got uh, Silver Star Smokehouse and Tavern and uh, Louisiana Down and all the casinos that are here in this area. So there's just a lot of things to do. And Sweetwater Oaks is not so far into Benton that you would have to travel a long distance to get there. So I think without a doubt, Sweetwater Oaks uh, subdivision should be on your list. Whether you are moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. All of the information is in the description below. So we can help you make a smooth move to Shreveport, Bossier City. To your home.